Hello, welcome to the Thursday, June 13th, 2019 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Neptune, New Jersey. So one of the highlights of yesterday's Microsoft Patch Tuesday was the patch for the four vulnerabilities that Sandbox Escaper published in May. However, it looks like there may be a fifth vulnerability that Sandbox Escaper wrote about in the GitHub repository. This is the Polar Bear repo repository. And apparently this particular version of the vulnerability has not been patched yet. It appears to be another bypass of CVE 2019-0841, at least according to the comments published with the proof of concept exploits. Now, since then, the GitHub repository Polar Bear Repo has been deleted. There's still an archive available and I'll link to the respective archive in the show notes. It's also not clear whether or not this particular repo was removed by GitHub or if Sandbox Escaper was the one who removed it. As other vulnerabilities published by Sandbox Escaper, it is a privilege escalation vulnerability, so it would require that the attacker already has access to a system. It may also require some limited user interaction. Another follow-up story to Microsoft's Patch Tuesday, CVE 2019-1040. This is a message integrity code tampering vulnerability. And we have more details about this vulnerability that was patched yesterday from Preempt, the company that originally discovered the vulnerability. One of the more popular attacks against uh, active director environments is NTLM relay where an attacker is essentially getting in the middle and is relaying messages that are being exchanged between an authenticated client and a server. And in order to prevent these attacks and in order to prevent the attacker from tampering with these authentication messages, Microsoft did introduce a MIC or a message integrity code. This is essentially a digital signature for these messages. The problem here is that the server server apparently doesn't necessarily enforce these message integrity codes the way it should enforce them. So an attacker can essentially just remove the codes, remove the flags indicating that the code is present, and then again launch these NTLM relay attacks. Up to now, the only way to protect yourself uh, from this type of attack was to actually configure your server to only allow uh, these integrity protected messages, which often isn't really possible in a mixed window version environment. Microsoft now made sure that for systems that do indicate that they support uh, this particular message integrity code, that these codes are also enforced. And again, a patch was published yesterday as part of Patch Tuesday. But well, it's not just Windows. We have new exploits and new vulnerability details for also for Mac OS. Earlier this year, security researcher Linus Hansi did publish details regarding a key steal vulnerability that allows unauthorized access to the decrypted keychain on Mac OS. Now, there was a little bit sort of forth and back about this vulnerability. Linus did initially not give any details to Apple, but later decided differently. It was sort of a little bit in protest that Apple didn't have a bug bounty program. Apple eventually fixed the vulnerability in Mac OS 10.14.4, as well as in some of the older Mac OS releases like 10.13.6 and 10.12.6. So Linus now published slides from his recent talk at the Objective by the Sea conference with more details regarding this vulnerability, including an actual exploit for the vulnerability. Real sort of insightful presentation about how the keychain works on macOS. So if you are into macOS security, I think this is certainly something you do want to review. 
And well, this is it for today. So thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.